Maca's guides. <laughs> hey guys, Maca here, and I'm playing Cuphead in black and white, and this is not a fancy editing trick. This is actually a secret mode that is built into the game, and in this video, I'll be showing you exactly how to unlock it for yourself. It also comes with a vintage mode for the audio that changes the music, which is pretty cool. Now, upon playing the game and reaching World 3, you'll eventually be able to go to the docks and talk to this turtle. He'll mention that the world is a multicolor mess, and maybe there's a way for you to see some extra shades of grey instead. But he thinks you're a little bit too violent, and you should try to be like him, a little bit of a pacifist and he wonders if that advice will help you, and it will. So what we need to do is complete all six of the run and gun missions in the game as a pacifist, which means we can't fire our gun or kill a single enemy in any of these six levels, which sounds really, really difficult, but I have a lot of tips here that won't make it that hard. The first tip is to make sure you equip the second super art, which is invincibility, and also the twin heart charm, which allows you to have five total lives. At this point, your goal is to complete all of these six run and gun levels as a pacifist. And once you do that, you'll also get a grade letter for that level, which is grade P. Now, grade P is even higher than grade A+. Plus, so that's going to be your highest possible grade on any of the run and gun levels. Now each of the levels has a little bit of a trick, but it comes down to only getting hit when you need to and trying to use your invincibility whenever possible. In Forest Follies, you'll want to use that invincibility in order to get over the acorn machine or else it's going to be really hard to parry over and get through the level if you don't do this. Also, whenever you do complete a level with pacifism, the flag that marks this level in the open world will have a golden P on it. The next level we'll need is Treetop Trouble, which is actually really easy in my opinion. The only thing you'll need to do here is save your invincibility for the final area, trigger it, and then just skip the boss at the end completely. For our third run and gun level, we will have Fun Fair Fever. And the important thing to do here is to use the balloons at the beginning in order to build up your invincibility and then use your invincibility during the middle section with the balls in order to skip all three of the areas without taking a single hit. Then you'll need to actually sacrifice some of your lives to get past other certain areas, eventually leading past the hot dog at the end to beat the level. After that, we can do Funhouse Frazzle, where the general idea would probably involve using the ducks at the beginning in order to charge your super all the way. Then you can jump over the cars and dash through the mouths in order to get through the walls. Use that invincibility in the area with the giant tubas, as I found this area to be the area I would lose the most lives. And then just safely maneuver your way through to the end of the level, jumping over the cars and through the mouth at the end in order to finish. In World 3, we have two of the harder run and gun levels, including Perilous Piers, where I recommend trying to get that invincibility by parrying some of the fish, although it can be quite difficult. Mostly what you want to do here is try to save all of your lives for the end with some quick thinking and dashes through the enemies, and then making sure you can stay alive on the octopus ride at the very end in order to reach the end of the level without shooting. Last but not least, we have Rugged Ridge, which involves a lot of very precise dashes underneath some enemies, as well as staying alive in a elevator section and then parrying walls at the right time in order to be able to dash over them. I would personally recommend saving your invincibility for the final area in the castle where you're getting chased by the ogre and use that invincibility as a backup just in case you fail one of the jumps. You'll eventually reach the end of the level and if you've gotten all six grade P's, you'll also unlock the pacifist achievement which is worth a whopping zero gamer score. Now once we've beaten all six of the run and gun levels as a pacifist, we can go back and talk to our old friend, the turtle. 
he'll be very impressed by our pacifist ways and allow us to unlock new visual and audio modes which include the ability to go to black and white mode and the ability to go turn on vintage music which you'll see me do on screen right now And there you have it. You get a zero point achievement and a new filter in order to play the game in black and white mode, which is very cool, although a little bit useless. And I'm going to show you some gameplay as to why. The main issue with black and white mode is that everything becomes black and white, even the items that you have to parry in order to complete certain levels, which means that it is incredibly difficult to build up your super meter, your X moves, and parry certain items unless you've memorized exactly what can and can't be parried. Either way, I thought this secret filter was super cool. I thought you guys would want to see it, so I made the video. Also, I was able to find another visual mode called Two Strip, which I'll have a separate video about. You can check that out. Thank you so much for watching. Share it with a friend, drop a like, and subscribe for more content similar to this in the future. Special thanks to all the amazing people on Patreon for supporting the show, and hopefully I see you guys next time. Peace.